Hello everybody, welcome back to Modern Meta Matchups. It is 2023 and it's time for a new video. It's been a while, we're excited. I'm gonna be playing Indomitable Creativity today. A little bit different than the last time I was on the channel. Uh, this time we've got things like Ley Line Binding as mm -hmm. well as Persist in the deck. as some extra resiliency. Um, and I'm gonna be playing JC on Burn, so yep. tell us a little bit. Um, Burn is, is a pretty straightforward, uh, it's about as clear cut as it can be. I've got three different creatures in the deck. I've got Monastery Swift Spear, Goblin Guide, and Eidolon of the Great Revel. Other than that, it's how many Lava Spikes can I hit you with? That's fair enough. I mean, you're just trying to deal damage to my face. I'm yep. trying to survive long enough to... Count down from 20. Put an Archon into play. Yep, and I probably lose if it sticks around for more than a turn. That's very fair. <laughs> I really like these decks, and if you like these videos, you can let us know very easily. Hit that thumbs up button. Does mean a lot to us, as well as subscribing and telling your friends about the channel if you want to help us succeed. Yep. And we have links to our Patreon and our Twitch down in the description. And leave us a comment letting us know what you want to see on the channel and what you liked about these videos. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, let's see who gets to go first today. I got a six. Is uh, it gonna be me? Classic low roll from Austin. Yes. All right. I'm gonna do it. All righty. All right. I, don't like the fact that I'm going second here. Yeah, as we discussed, uh, the die roll is incredibly important in this matchup. Yeah, it seems to be that way. Huh. I think I'm good with this hand, and we'll keep it. I think I'm going to mulligan. All right, this is a reasonable opening hand. I've got three lands, a wooded foothills, a mountain, and a bloodstained mire. I've got two Goblin Guides to apply early pressure. I've got an Eidolon of the Great Revel, which isn't the best in this matchup, but maybe some of his early spells will deal damage to him. And I've got one Lightning Bolt. It's a creature heavy hand, but it's gonna apply some pressure and maybe I can whittle him down enough that drawing some spells off the top can finish him off. All right, hopefully I can find a better hand this time. Last Let's hope. Time. It looked like I was just gonna get steamrolled last game with that first opening hand. Yeah, that's not what we want. Uh, this one is keepable, okay. and I'll just put uh, this on the bottom. Okay. All right, for game one here, my opening hand is pretty decent. I've got three lands here, two wooded foothills and a dwarven mine. I also have a lightning bolt and a creativity, so I've got a little bit of early action there. Creativity is my win the game card. I also have two copies of Spell Pierce. And because I am on a mulligan, one of these cards has to go to the bottom. It's going to be the second copy of Spell Pierce. I don't know if I'll have time to really be able to utilize both, especially if JC is on a creature heavy hand. I kind of want to make sure that I'm having a bolt and a Spell Pierce in this hand, and one of those cards has to go to the bottom. It's going to be the extra copy of Spell Pierce. All right, what do you got for me, JC? Well, I got a mountain. Uh, should I scoop? <laughs> uh, it's up to you. I'm going to play a Goblin guy. Yeah. And I'm going to start attacking you for two. Do I at least get to draw a card? Uh, no. It looks like not. That's a run and six on top. I'm just going to pass the turn after that. Uh, but you I'll, do go to 18. I'll draw the run and six. And then I'll just play a Wooded Foothills here. Go okay. Ahead. I'm going to draw. Well, i got to be honest with you. Okay. I kind of like what you're doing, so I'm also going to play a Wooded Foothills. Yeah. But I'm going to crack mine and go get an untapped uh, Sacred Foundry. Sure thing. So I'm going to play another Goblin Guide. Another one. And then I'm going to go to combat. Um, sure. And I'm going to attack you for four. All right. So we have two Goblin Guide triggers. I'll go ahead and trigger the first one. It's uh, Jetmere's Garden. Okay. And then I think here what I want to do is grab a steam vents off of my uh, wooded foothills here. So I'll go down to 15. Okay. And then we'll let the other goblin guide trigger resolve here. Okay. It's a run and six. Okay, well. Uh, before damage, I'm going to go ahead and lightning bolt one of your goblin guides. I'll let you pick which one. I'll get rid of this one. Uh, but you will take two additional damage. Yep, I'll take two. Uh, and then second main phase, I will spectacle a skewer the critics. I'll take three. Okay. Are you out of cards yet? Uh, no, I still got three. That's I'll pass guy. the turn. That's not good for me. Uh, 
Right. Well, I'll play this Jetmir Garden. That makes sense. Go ahead. All right, I'll untap and draw. I will play a Bloodstained Mire, and I will immediately go get a basic mountain. Sure thing. I would now like to go to combat. Yep. I would like to attack you for two. Uh, trigger as a Leyland Binding on top. Okay. Uh, yeah, I take two. Okay. Uh, second main phase, I would like to Lightning Bolt your face. I take three. Okay. And then I would like to play an Eidolon, Great Rebel. That's unfortunate. Mm. And then I would like to pass. All right. You got what, one card left? I have one card. Hmm. Right, well, I'll play a Wooded Foothills. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, I will just... Pass the turn. Okay. I'll untap and draw. I will play a Sunbaked Canyon. Yep. I will play an Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Uh, sure thing. I would like to go to combat. You take damage when you cast Yes, I do. Yes, I go to 14. Uh, I would like to go to combat. Yep. I'd like to attack for four. Uh, trigger the Goblin Guide. Trigger on the stack. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice my Wooded Foothills and grab a Xander's Lounge. You got it. Uh, so the Goblin Guide trigger. Uh, it's a Bloodstained Mire, so okay. I'll go to my hand. Yep. And uh, before damage, I don't want to die. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and play this Leyline Binding okay. on... Uh, the Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Here. Okay. Now, because the... you only paid one, you do take four damage, right? <laughs> uh, you wish. Oh. Instead, I'll take two from the Goblin you Guide. You do take two from the Goblin Guide. Uh, I will pass the turn. I am empty-handed. I will play a Dwarven Mine. It looks like three mountains to me, so that's a dwarf. I'll make this dwarf that is ready to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will uh, oblige. I'm going to. <laughs> pay four mana for my indomitable creativity, targeting my dwarf, uh, and that will be the only target. Mm, okay. Well, I have no responses to that. All right. So I'll destroy this dwarf here, and then uh, go until I get a creature or artifact. I think I know what it might be. I have a bad feeling I know what it might be, too. There it is. Oh. We'll get an Archon of Cruelty. And then I will kind of just shuffle up here. Mm -hmm. uh, when the Archon enters, you will uh, sacrifice a creature. Lose three life. Discard a card. Uh, uh, jazz hands. Uh, more importantly for me, I get to gain three life. Yep, and you get to draw a card. And I get to draw a card, but I'm more excited about going to five. Yep. And I'm unfortunately going down to 11. Um, so I'll go to five, you go to 11, you lost your creature, I yep. draw my card, and then uh, I'll pass the turn. Okay, on your end step, I'm going to sacrifice my Sunbaked Canyon to draw a card. Yep, I need you to not get double burn spell here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to untap and draw. Hmm. Well... Unfortunately, I'm just going to pass the turn. All right. Then I'll untap and draw. I'm going to go to combat. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'll tag. Uh, trigger, I lose three life. I yep. sacrifice a creature. I discard a card. It was an inspiring vantage. And then you gain three, and yeah. Are you taking the six? I'm taking the six. I go to two. Um, and then, let's see, you only have one card in your hand. I have one card. Um, okay, so... Yeah, 
I think here I'm just going to play a Dwarven Mine. Yep. I'll get back uh, my Dwarf. Mm-hmm. And why not? I'll play a Renin 6. Okay. And just deal one damage to you. I go to one. God. I will Lightning Bolt your face. Yep. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's nothing I can draw here that wins me this game. Drawing that Inspiring Vantage was really bad, but uh, I will do yeah. three to you. Yeah, go And then two. die. If you had drawn that instead of the Inspiring Vantage. Yeah, you would have been very dead, but. All right, let's uh, go to the sideboard and then get into game two. All right. All right, so for the sideboard here, I'm bringing out a couple copies of Fire and Ice. They're a little bit slow. They mm -hmm. don't really do enough in this matchup. I mean, they can kill a creature on turn two, but it's using both mana. I don't really want to have two untapped lands on turn two necessarily yeah. anyway. So yeah, not in this matchup, at least where my life total is. Uh, <laughs> extremely relevant. Extremely relevant. Uh, so those are coming out as well as a copy of Prismari Command. Again, it's one of the slower cards in the deck. It's nice that it lets me kill a creature every time while also making a treasure token or something, uh, which I could use for another removal spell on turn three. So it kind of gives me a little bit there, but I need a little bit more help to stay alive. So I'm going to bring in a couple copies of Flusterstorm to stop the burn spells, as well as a Collective Brutality, which is really nice, kills a creature and allows me to uh, gain some life at the same time. Sure does. Um, I decided to take out some Eidolons of the Great Revel. Um, it's really good against your early stuff, but it's not good against the relevant spells like your Leyline Bindings and specifically Indomitable Creativity. So uh, not doing enough in the matchup. Um, and then one Lightning Helix, two mana for three damage in a matchup where me gaining three life doesn't really matter that much. Not that great. So instead I'm going to have some Roiling Vortexes to shut off life gain and do damage to you over each turn, an extra skull crack, and two path to exile to get rid of Archons permanently. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and get into game two. Okay. I'm guessing uh, you didn't like the results, so you're going to go second? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm going to go first and do it better this time. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not. I'm willing to keep this hand. I'd rather not keep the six land hand. Fair enough. All right, so this is a very spell-heavy hand, but I'm going to do a lot of damage. I've got three lands. I've got one Scalding Tarn and two Inspiring Vantage. I've got a Skull Crack. I've got a Lightning Bolt, a Searing Blaze, and a Lava Spike. So even though I don't get to put a creature into play on turn one, I'm just going to start hitting Austin in the face and hoping that I can either draw some creatures or just keep churning through spells and that'll be enough before an Archon shows up. Hopefully I can find something a little better this time. Better six. Better <laughs> six. I'd, better rather, I'd six. rather not have six lands. Yeah, well, I mean, the, no one wants that. Except maybe Wind Grace. All right. Uh, I think I'll try this one and just throw this to the bottom here. Okay. For game two here, my opening hand is a little bit scary, but it's not too bad. I've got just two lands, a Arid Mesa and a Wooded Foothills. That's okay though, because I have a Renin Six, so even if I'm not drawing any lands, I can always just get back my fetch lands with Renin Six, and I'll be covered on mana there. Just might hurt a little bit, which is a little bit scary against Burn. I've also got a Lightning Bolt and a Persist, as well as two copies of Archon of Cruelty. So a little bit awkward. I've got kind of two copies of Archon. I did Mulligan, so easy choice, put one of the Archons to the bottom. Kind of nice to have one in hand with this Persist though. If I draw some way to discard it later on with uh, Prismari Command or my Fable of the Mirror Breaker, anything like that, I can put the Archon into the graveyard and then reanimate it with this Persist. So I'm pretty happy with this hand. Not a ton of early action. I've got the Lightning Bolt, so hopefully I can kill an early creature and stay alive long enough to win the game. Pretty. I'm going to start with an untapped land. I don't like that. And you take three. I like that a little better, better, I guess. I don't really know. I'll pass. It's not a creature. It's not a creature. Uh, I'll just play a Water Foothills here. Okay. Go ahead. Draw. I will play yet another Inspiring Vantage, and I will pass the turn. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice my Wooded Foothills, and I'll just grab a Jet Mirror's Garden. You got it. All right, go to my turn. I'll draw my card. Mm -hmm. 
And I'll play this here, Arid Mesa. Okay. I'm just going to sacrifice it and grab a basic mountain. Okay. All right, and with this uh, two mana here, I'll go ahead and pay two. Mm -hmm. Cast a red and six. Okay. And uh, I'll immediately just plus one. Yep. And get back this Arid Mesa. Okay. Pass turn. I'll skull crack you on your end step. I'm taking three. I will untap. Yep. And draw. Stop doing damage to me. <laughs> uh, I refuse. Hmm. I will play a Bloodstained Mire. Yeah. And I will Lightning Bolt your face. I'm at nine. I will pass. Uh, untap and draw. I'll uh, play this Arid Mesa. Mm hmm. And I'll plus the run in six mm -hmm. and get back this Wooded Foothills. Okay. And pass the turn. On your end step, I will go to 19 and get a tapped Sacred Foundry. Sure thing. I'll untap and draw. I'll play a Scalding Tarn. Yep. I'll play a Monastery Swift Spear. Yeah. I will attack you for one. Uh, I don't want that to happen. I'd like to try to Lightning Bolt. Big sad. Um, that's all I got. All right. uh, end of your turn, I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice my Arid Mesa. Mm -hmm. And I'll grab the Xander's Lounge. Sounds good. I'll untap and draw. All right. I have a pretty weird turn here, I think. Uh, I'm going to plus Ren and Six. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get back this Arid Mesa. Okay. And then I'll pass turn and discard the hand size. So a little bit of a different type of situation here. My hand is really awful. <laughs> I've got a bunch of lands, an extra copy of Renin Six. Uh, I've got an Archon and a Persist. And I'm not gonna be able to get the Archon down anytime soon. So instead of playing anything this turn, I'm gonna miss my land drop on purpose. That way I can just discard the Archon and try to persist it next turn. I think this is the only real shot of action I have with this hand, because otherwise, I'm not doing anything. Oh dear. Go okay. Ahead. I will untap and draw. I will play a mountain. I will play a goblin guide. Yep. I will go to combat. You got it. I will attack you. Uh, yeah, trigger. It's a land. You get it. I'll take two. Uh, and I will pass the turn after that. All right. I'll untap and draw. I'm sure you're surprised. Uh, I've got to persist. Mm -hmm. So That's I'm going to get back my Archon of Cruelty mm -hmm. with a minus one, minus one counter. Yep. Uh, with the trigger on the stack, I would like to fetch with my Scalding Tarn sure. and get a tapped Sacred Foundry. You got it. Okay, uh, still with the trigger on the stack, I will pay two to Searing Blaze, your Archon, and your face. Alright, so I'll take three? Yep. And then I'll gain the three back? Yep. You lose three? I lose three, I sacrifice Goblin Guide, I discard from my empty hand. And I draw a card. Yep. Uh, I'll then... Uh... Play a land, mm -hmm. and I guess I'll plus red and six, no target. Okay. And I might still have to discard two. Yeah, I'll just discard a land. Okay. Go ahead. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. You may go get a basic if you so choose. Uh, I don't have one. Okay. I only have the mountain. Well, then I will pass the turn. All right. Um, I'll just untap and draw. I'll play a Wooded Foothills mm -hmm. and grab a Dwarven Mine. You got it. Uh, and then I will pay uh, four mana. Like so. Okay. 
and uh, cast an indomitable creativity. Okay. On my dwarf. Yep, I can't do anything about that. Uh, so the dwarf is gone. Toasty. And I go until I get one of those. And then you shuffle. And then I shuffle. And seeing as you have no creatures or cards, the only thing that'll happen to you is you'll lose three life. But you will gain three and draw a card, which is extremely bad for me. Yeah, I think the gain of three is the, the problem for mm -hmm. you. So I'll gain my three. I'll draw my card. I'll plus the end. And I lose three as well. Get back a wooded foothills. And I'm just gonna do it for house. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, um, I'm pretty dead here drawing yeah. a searing blaze. So unfortunately, you're gonna take it too well. All uh, right, close, close games. Close games, yeah. Came down to one spell. You drew too many lands in your I drew games. too many lands in both games, yeah. Good, game. Good games.